Sadako Sasaki was born in Hiroshima, Japan. She was two years old when the atomic bomb decimated that city. And when she was 12, she contracted leukemia and was hospitalized. And one of her roommates at the hospital told her about the long-standing Japanese belief that anyone who folds 1,000 paper cranes would be granted a wish. And so, Sadako began folding cranes with the hope of recovering from her disease. Sadly, although she folded some 1,300 cranes, she died on October 25th, 1955. They petitioned for and raised money to build the Children's Peace Monument in her honor at the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park in 1958. And her story has inspired several best-selling books that have sold millions of copies worldwide. So whenever a major disaster strikes anywhere in the world, cranes are now folded and sent to victims as a hope and a symbol of hope and uh, recovery. These cranes have proven powerful symbols folded by one young girl more than 60 years ago. Yuji produced a plastic box and took out of it a tiny paper crane and dropped it into my palm and told me that that was the last crane that Sadako had folded before she died. And at that point, Yuji asked me, and his father asked me, if I would attend the memorial ceremonies in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. My family and I did in 2012. We went to both ceremonies, and in between, we sat down and listened to more than two dozen survivors, just to let them tell us their stories. They only asked me one thing, they came to me not in anger, not in recrimination. All they said was, please help us keep telling these stories so that everyone understands what it's like to live through a nuclear explosion, so that we do not do it again. です。私たちの合言葉。You love the me. You love the me. Now, now I'd like to present this.